With its goats and walking trails, Wrightlock Farm in Winchester is a nice way to get back to nature. But Andy Brooks isn't here for the farm fresh produce. He's here to make black gold, a mix of food scraps and leaves known as compost. Brooks estimates 20 to 30% of residential waste deposited in landfills is organic and has the potential to be returned to nature as compost. That's what his company, Bootstrap Compost in Malden, has been doing since 2011. One bucket of food scraps at a time. And today, we're going to ride along and see how. Hey, Hi, Shana. Andy. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. So we're doing this. Yeah, let's go for a ride. What can you compost? The saying in the industry is, if it grows, it goes. So that means anything that comes from the earth can be composted. Just classic compost right there. Coffee grounds, banana peels, paper towels are a good source of carbon. Fully compostable, assuming they don't have any harsh chemicals on them. The bucket is out. What was your motivation to start this business? My sister lives in Vermont. She was composting at home, and I, I knew nothing about composting. And I learned from her about it, and uh, was just so inspired, and uh, brought that idea to Boston. Granted, people were doing it, of course, right. but I wanted, to, I wanted to give people a service and a means to do it. How many customers do you have? Close to 5,000. 5,000? Yeah. Wow. And why is this a good thing to do? It's good for the environment because you eliminate food scraps from the landfill, which contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. Just to give you a sense of, of our impact, since 2011, we have managed to collect and compost 8.5 million pounds of food scraps. How long does it take for that to compost? Typically you can compost something from its original iteration into compost after three to four months. They call it black gold. So you said in the car that there's black gold. That's right. Right? Is yes. that what this is? This is black gold, yes. This, okay. is, this is the finished product. This is compost. Oh, it does look like soil. Absolutely, right? And please, give it a smell. It smells it doesn't earthy. doesn't smell at all. It smells earthy. Look at that. Look what you made. I know. Amazing. It's great. From repurposing food waste, I head to Boston's North End in a shop that claims to have no waste at all. Yuvida is Boston's first and only zero waste store and refillery. Zero Waste is a store dedicated to being all about plastic free products. Maria Vasco first came up with the concept of Yuvida while studying environmental science at UMass Boston. I specifically felt called to the plastic pollution problem because I knew that I was continuously buying products in plastic since I did didn't know there was such a thing as plastic free products. Well, there are, and many are available here. From bamboo toothbrushes. It is one of our most popular items. It's just one of the easiest swaps that you can make. Everyone has a plastic toothbrush at home. You just swap it out for a bamboo. It does the same thing, and it also is compostable. To recycled toilet paper? So it's not toilet paper that has been used. It's actually made from recycled paper. And even a room to refill the bottles we use every day. We have hand soap, laundry detergent, dish soap, shampoo. Basically everything you need to stay clean and green. People can connect to the Zero Waste Movement by looking at the products and seeing what they are throwing away the most. A lot of our products are reusable, so when you buy them once, you keep them forever. Where did the name Uvida come from? So I wanted the word life in it, and I just translated it to Spanish, which is vida, and then I put the U in front of it, so it indicates that you give life by being zero waste. And back to Bootstrap, the compost made by the company can be returned to subscribers for reuse in their own yards and gardens. And Bootstrap got its name when Andy Brooks was unemployed and decided to pull himself up by the bootstraps and start the business. Though a common concern about waste disposal centers on landfills, about one third of our state's solid waste is burned, which comes with its own environmental impact. Composting can reduce that number.